<laughs> My opponent doesn't know what to think. They're like, what? Ten tens? Alright, so we're going to be able to heal our Nexus for 16. Dude, we're doing everything! We're doing it all! We got Heal the Rush with these 10 tens. We have Destiny's Call, a Rumul to make it 16 power, and Revitalizing Roar, heal 16. 16 Spell Shield Overwhelm. We're doing it all. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Destiny's Roar. Going to be our next meme tier donation deck. This one was submitted by a viewer that wanted to put together Destiny's Call and Revitalizing Roar. So our hope here is to, you know, kind of play a longer game. We'll have Destiny's Call be able to grant an ally in our hand plus eight plus eight. And then we will be able to play Revitalizing Roar. So we'll pick that unit uh, and then we'll be able to heal our Nexus equal to its power. If we're enlightened, reduce its cost to zero, which would be nice. And so the we have two main targets for this Destiny's Call. One could be this Grandfather Rumul. So Grandfather Rumul is basically just big Ruin Runner. It's got Overwhelm, it's got Spell Shield, just like Ruin Runner. Also has that four health, um, eight power. But if we put a Destiny's Call on it, give it plus eight, plus eight, now it's gonna be a 16-12 overwhelm spell shield that's pretty crazy then we can revitalizing roar heal our nexus for 16 which is insane and you know because because obviously we have to take the round off to play this destiny's call so we're gonna be behind so then we can uh, reheal our nexus to help us stay alive heal for 16 and then play a 16 power overwhelm and uh spell shield we're all, our other main target is going to be sparkle fly right turning this thing into a 910 lifesteal elusive is really powerful and we can do that um, really as early as round seven. With If we have our three spell mana, round seven, we can Destiny's Call and then also cast Sparkle Fly the same round and have a 9-10 elusive with Lifesteal. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We also have other ways to buff Sparkle Fly. We're going to have like Omen Hawk, um, Mountain Goat creating gems, Mention the Sto Stone supporting creating gems, all that kind of stuff. We'll have our Aphelios in here with the different moon weapons that could find Sparkle Fly with Crescendum. But they can also give like all this other stuff, right? Like we can we can give things overwhelm, give other things life steal. If we're buffing up something else, we can give it life steal, help stay alive. Um, so you know, Felios will do all that, and then we'll also have Feel the Rush at the top end for our other top end card. They can put a 10-10 Felios, 10-10 Trundle in play, and like if we you know putting 10-10s in play, we can then give those things life steal or overwhelm with the different moon weapons from Felios. So it looks like it'll be a fun deck to play. Let's go and try it out. We're going to play some Destiny's Roar. Let's head on over to normal and play five games. Okay, we're facing Aurelia Azir to start with. So they're going to be super aggressive. We're going to try to stay alive. What do I want for the moon weapon? I think I'm going to send it back. It's like the moon weapon, it's like four mana. It could do three damage to one of their things. We could try to kill something for for that. Really, I like to see like Omen Hawk and two drops. But we can start with the Tavern Keeper. A little further. Bingo. Watch your head. This deck's probably going to be a little bit better than our meme tier deck. It's not the kind of deck we want to face in normal. But you don't get to choose what you what you face. And I'm going to wait on the troll chance. Don't need to play that yet. All right, there's Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk will enable the Nightfall on the Aphelios. Spin it round, throw it down. I've got meat bigger than <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Really, is your normal? It's a little rough. 
Okay, I'm thinking about grabbing Gr Gravitum to try to shoot the Green Glade duo. Because I could go Crescendum and... We got a 50-50 shot. Maybe we just go Crescendum first and Calibrum for the second one. We got a 50-50 shot of hitting either the Mountain Goat or the Lifesteal Elusive. The Lifesteal Elusive would be a good blocker. And then next round, Calibrum. Or, you know, like have this thing turn into a Calibrum. All right, cool. I think it's a good blocker. I think I just pass. I don't want to, like, attack in and let... You know, they got their spell, man. I don't want to, like, attack in and then they use a pump spell whenever I could have troll chance. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Man. Just, just play Treasure Seeker, <laughs> Merciless Hunter, and Aurelia Azir. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Okay, yeah, I misspoke. I said the wrong, the wrong one. Get our licks in. Let's talk about your death. Seven. So you know, playing the two spells, you know, play this, we get the Calibrum. So I wanted to play the two spells to get the next moon weapon. Scorpion says, so I built Timo Viego. Elusive. All right, and some sparkle flies. Hold up. Not bad. So they're down to just two cards left. All right, I'm gonna just let this die, and then play Trundle. Okay, Scorpy says, so I built Timo Viego. My first game was against Siver Shen. I got them to negative 55 Nexus because I teched in one called shot and parallel convergence with Viego on board. That is absurd. <laughs> That's pretty absurd. Kind of wish I would have gone with the Lifesteal one now instead of this Gravitum. Okay, this got Omen Hawk. I forgot we had that Omen Hawk. We dance to the drums of war, and all our hearts beat as one. Every blade, every beat in its place. Man, I just want to entomb this thing and just slow him down a little bit. Give me some time to get to like these field of rushes and stuff. not grid. That's not good at all. That, that's not good at all, that being their last card. And stop staring. Man, this is bad. I can't even block. Man, and I can't challenge. Can't block that thing. Oh, this is this is just this is just game. 
No, Revi Revitalizing Roar only... Because it, it heals Nexus Eagle to the power, so it doesn't work on, like, Field of Rush. Because Field of Rush has no power. Man, this was looking really good. This was looking really good, till their last three cards were Defiant Dance. You know, Defiant Dance, Aurelia, and then... Whatever that card's called. Lead and Follow. Those being those their last three cards, and now drawing its ear. This was looking really good till that. Yeah, wrecked by a meta deck, and now it looks like we got another meta deck. The popular Viego deck right now with all the basically just Viego and then all the Ionia protection for Viego. Just Sparkle Fly by itself. We need some we need to be able to buff up the Sparkle Fly. Hoping for like mentor the stones. So I'm going to hold on to this other Sparkle Fly for the Destiny's Call. <laughs> Every time I, I try Viego Ionia, I get 8. But when I play against it, I also get 8. Yeah, I definitely have those kind of decks. I'll give me a couple good trades. Okay, so round seven I can do this. We have to make sure we have three spell mana by round seven, which does not look like that's going to be difficult considering I have nothing to play. So we won't let this thing strike. Because they want to play, I, I think they want to play Invasive Hydra Vine this round. I think that's like the big problem here. I hope this is worth slowing them down around. <laughs> Juju said, that's my exact story of Deep. And it's my nemesis. Anytime I play against it, I lose. But if I try playing it, I also lose. Okay, yeah. So we're not gonna let them, uh, not gonna let them play that invasive hydrovine that round. And I guess they want to just pack up and go home. But that's too bad. We were about to this next round. We're going to Destiny's Call our Sparkle Fly, the very next round, and attack with a nine ten, elusive life steal. This is gonna be cool. Who knows? I got a phone call. They doorbell ring, but man, a third straight meta deck. Come on, we're in normals for a reason. We're playing, you know, just this meme tier deck in normals. Why, why do we need all these meta decks? Alright, so Omen Hawk. Like, this hand looks good, I think. Yeah. I could see sending back, like, the Gifts from Beyond or the Mentor of the Stones, like, both of these. But I think they're fine. Like, Make it rain is kind of messy here with like Omen Hawk Mentor the Stones. I'll shoot the wings off a but I'm hoping that like the Omen Hawk hits the two drops. Okay, okay, that's that's just fine. Requires concentration. No, no. Oh, I should. Yeah, that is so much worse than even Mega Rain.
at least make it rain, we'd have, like, you know, some luck that could maybe happen. their units leveled, their champions leveled up. It's round five, they're at four out of five. Maybe they don't draw a champion. That'd be cool. Bow to no one. Never mind. All right, we'll stun Sejuani. The dead don't need riches. It ends in silence. What is this attack about? How are they doing two damage to my Aphelios? Okay, no, they're just gonna do another Nexus damage thing and frostbite my Aphelios. That's that's what's gonna happen. They're just doing one damage to the Aphelios. It's just us. That's what's gonna happen. They play like a warning shot here. See, it's just too bad that, like, we're... Our deck is just all about, like, buffing up something. And... They're just going to keep frostbiting every single round, so it doesn't matter how buff my units are. They just get frostbit every round. Safety will cost. Like... So Juwani's messed up. Probably... Heal that just in case. A crescent path opens before us. Yep, hey, I talk to spirits. These are my rules. Get yours. Together, brother. We will make death. So we've leveled up the Felios. Kind of cool. I never say no spoke in powder. Yeah, everything just gets frostbit every round. And there's nothing to do about that. There's just literally nothing I can do about it's getting frostbit every single round. I know, right? I, I, that's what I was thinking, too. It's been a long time since we've seen that Aphelios level of animation, hasn't it? The Aphelios has been very good for us. I wonder if Aphelios is good in this meta game. It has been good in these games. But I just can't stop Sejuani. So there's no... There's just no iteration where I can win this. <laughs> it's all it's meta deck normal day i guess we're facing f you know four of the best decks right now um but our deck has performed pretty well right i've, I've been imp i've been impressed i don't know i could see keeping feel the rush i'll send it back because we have other top end but that could be a really powerful top end card for this matchup
on round nine. Okay, so I, I didn't even, like, so I want the goat to make gems for Sparklefly, but I also kind of didn't want to, like, I wanted to have Troll Chant to protect goat, because I didn't want to, like, play goat, they shoot the goat, and then that's it. If I Troll Chant, they had, they could still Mystic Shot kill my goat, if they have Mystic Shot and discard something to Spinning Axe. I've liked the Omen Hawks. Axes coming right up. They didn't attack the first time. This can go wrong. We'll see what they got. Hopefully not, because they didn't attack the first time. They were kind of scared. Why did they not just attack the first time? So, that could go wrong. We just got two for one, which is not good at all. Well, we're going to have a big trundle next round. Let's make this a night for the number. Let's boogie. So many cards over there, right? Don't really expect to be winning this. Basically, can they answer a trundle or not? But like, like, cause I can't even like attack with a trundle because of this five one. Like that just blocks it so easily. It does five damage to it. We're just in a pretty bad spot. Would have been in a much better spot without that cooling strike. Good draw. I'm still three rounds away from playing that, but that's going to be an awesome card in three rounds. Cool. I was not going to attack with the Trundle anyway. I was going to attack with the Mountain Goat, but now I don't I don't want the Mountain Goat to trade with the 3-2. Yeah, given time, I think people really overestimated how much of a... Uh, how much of a nerf that to the moon weapons was with the three mana. They assumed Felos is unplayable, where in reality you can still carry the late game. I yeah, I think I so too. And I think that people haven't realized, like the three three Ophelios is a big deal, right? Instead of the three two Ophelios. I think that's a big deal. Um, yeah, I could see Ophelios being pretty good still. Nice, good draw. But I got to turn on Nightfall, so I kind of need to hush first. One shot, all skill. Alright, so I'm going to be blocking with Trundle. Even though it could set up Trundle dying to a Scorched Earth. But I'd rather, you know, I, I don't want to, like, block with Mountain Goat and then they get excited or whatever. Like, they kill the Mountain Goat. And so I don't get to kill Ezreal. Even if they killed Trundle with the Scorched Earth, it's still us trading two for two, right? Hush. Trundle. Ezreal. Scorched Earth. I'm going to hold my spell mana until next round, so I can play two spells, get another moon weapon. Never mind. So I guess might as well just do it right now then. So we each have three cards in hand, if you don't count, you know, Guile and Spinning Axis cards. 
This field of rush could be big. You know, it really could. Speaking of cards that are pretty big, so is that. Alright, just just a 4-4. Four, four. Just a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, Avelios. Okay. Ice Pillar. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. No, because I guess that... So that makes the Thorn of the Rose vulnerable, so I can have my 1-1 one, one challenge Thorn of the Rose. That's, uh, that's actually really nice. So I'm not playing Grandfather Rumel this round. Because... Aphelios with Moon Weapon is 6 mana, and then that leaves me with enough for Feel the Rush next round. So I'll just keep killing some of their stuff. The moon rises. Because I need I need two spots, so I don't want to just take the thing that puts the two drop in play. Because I need two spots for Feel the Rush. Oh, we can we get to Destiny's Call of Grandfather Rumel. Let's do this. Sixteen power. Overwhelm spell shield attacker. I should try to make a competitive Felio stack. Okay. I like a Felios Braum. I don't know, I like playing Braum decks. Or there's something there. What did they discard for that spinning axe? The the Guile? Yeah, they discarded a Guile. All right, cool, cool. Next couple of rounds. So they, unless you already have one. So two Aphelios don't doesn't really like you don't get to make multiple moon weapons in hand when you have multiple Aphelios. Like they they don't really stack. <laughs> My opponent doesn't know what to think. They're like, what ten tens? All right, so we're gonna be able to heal our Nexus for sixteen. Dude, we're doing everything. We're doing it all. We got Feel the Rush with these 10 tens. We have Destiny's Call, a Rumul to make it 16 power, and Revitalizing Roar, heal 16. 16 Spell Shield Overwhelm. We're doing it all. Get ready for a beat down. All right, but if I want Moon Weapons, I have to play the revive. If I want to play a moon weapon this round, I have to play the revitalizing roar. I guess I don't need to play a moon weapon this round. No, nah, I don't need to play a moon weapon this round. With the knight's embrace. I am with you. Hmm. That's probably worth. Yeah, it's true. But once they level up, that's true. Then the discounts will stack. So then they'll cost two. So then there'll be like one man moon weapons. So I've already played two Ravenous Flocks, but no Scorched Earth or Guillotine or anything like that. That was a perfect card to have, so now they got five good new cards. I'm going to be playing Destiny's Call this round. And then next round, so then we'll create a Moon Weapon. And the next round I can go Moon Weapon, plus Revi Revitalizing Roar, plus the other Moon Weapon. And then this thing will also cause zero, so plus Rumul. We can do all that next round. <laughs> it's just us, Felios, that troll, the butterfly. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Yeah, it looks like we're going to need to oh, heal our Nexus. Rest. A good amount with Ezreal being there. Dude, this is sweet. <laughs> so much healing. 10 mana 
try beam. <laughs> Get a scuttle, guys. Yeah, 10 mana is not the best. You could, you have a couple of, you know, you have like six targets, like two of them are awesome with like Scythria, Atticon, but then you got a lot of these kind of things. Okay, let's start with Gravitum on this. I have one less mana than I thought I did. I thought I was going to be able to play all of this, but I guess I'm, I'm one short. They're killing my ass pillows. One shot, all skill. So I don't care about the damage. I guess might as well not give them the free Mystic Shots play. You'd assume that they would kill the Sparkle Fly with the Mystic Shot. But of course, with that, with me healing my Nexus here, I don't I don't care about that damage. I guess I might as well block. These things are slow speed. I think I might as well attack. I mean, I could I could give like you know like the Aphelios plus two plus one overwhelm that kind of stuff, but I think might as well just attack. I mean, they've already played two sentries, so I guess another sentry isn't really that likely. All right, we should be able to attack and win, but I kind of want to play some moon weapons and also still attack and win. Like, what's the worst that can happen if I moon weapon? Just another another sentry. Uh, Another sentry can't be that likely, right? It's just us. All right, they just concede. I I really wanted to play more moon weapons. You should be honored. Okay, yeah, I did kill the third sentry already. Viego, I don't like facing Viego. At least they're not going to be Ionia Viego, so they can't deny feel the rush. So round nine. I kind of want to keep the field of rush though. I think use frostbite spells though for like my big buffs, not to matter as much. If they have a withering whale, that would be gross. Mystical levitation requires I'm not playing around it. Wow, that's gross. Oh, we got a big goat. We got a big goat. Before they play something else, it gets another encroaching shadows. What are you doing? Trying to kill my big goat. That ain't cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're okay passing. Let's see. Next round. Okay, so this is four, five, six. Next round will be six. We'll have nine mana. Not enough for Destiny's Call Sparkle Fly. We can do that the next round. Gifts from Beyond, deal three. Just shoot that thing. A true Fragorian will. I hope they don't have ruination. Maybe I just play the 
a failure. So I can I can go Destiny's Call on the Sparklefly and then play Sparklefly, but then they go Ruination and then I'm sad. We're not we're not we're we're playing beam tier decks. We're not here to play around the Ruination. That's not what we're here. That's not what we're signing up for. We're we're signing up for smashing with Sparklefly. Lame. Yeah, we got a, some good backups. Still got 7-5 Goat. Still got 5-5 five, five Aphelios. Second Vengeance. Right, we're going to get Moon Weapons real fast. What moon, moon Weapon do I want? I want to... Get maybe a two mana unit. Stop. Jerks. Gonna be able to play Calibrum and Gravitum. I was kind of take, taking this to be able to play this first, then Gravitum. I don't, I don't have the mana for Gravitum. All right, so we're just going to be attacking for one. I really don't need to. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna hold my troll chain to help protect. Um, the Aphelios. No, take the Gravitum. What am I doing? Because then Gravitum gets me the other one. Yeah, I should have taken Gravitum. We're making quite a bit of moon weapons. All right, moon weapons for the win. So they did not find Viego or Viego's music box. We got a win. We went three and two. So we played against two Viego decks. We played against Draven Ezreal and Aurelia Azir and uh, Gangplank Sejuani. Like that, those are good decks. Like especially for normal, we went three and two. You know, Felios did really well. The Field of Rush was awesome, and just Omen Hawk, Mountain Goat, Sparkle Fly, you know, Mench of the Stones. All that was pretty good. And then your Troll Chance, your Three Sisters. But Aphelios was definitely awesome in this kind of deck. That was cool. That was cool. Grandfather Rumble stronger than Meta. <laughs> this is a hamster bump. I mean, I can't. Yeah. So awesome, nice winning record again today. All right, got a 4-1 and a 3-2. A couple of good records with these meme tier decks. And that, those are against some good meta decks. Yeah, we're, I'm going to have to try out some more Aphelios. So yeah, maybe Aphelios, Braum. I liked the Omenhawks quite a bit. Omenhawk really looked good. And Omenhawk's great with Braum and, you know, good with Aphelios. Like making 5-5 five, five Aphelios quite nice. Interesting. Because then Braum can give you, you know, like... Like this, like Severum, Infernum, you know, get that little bit extra power on the Braum. But Calibrum, killing a bunch of followers. That was pretty nice. All right, cool deck. Cool deck. So that's going to be Destiny's Roar. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all had some fun today watching the Mist Race, the Destiny's Call. Also, we got Bandle City coming up. I, I recorded that video with uh, talking about all the new Bandle City cards so far that we've gotten previewed. So check out that video and uh, you know feel free to let me know your favorite Bandle City cards or got any questions about them or anything like that. Um, you know, it's always fun to talk new cards. So I'm, I'm uh, always ready for that. But that's gonna be it here though for Destiny's Roar. 
So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.